simple 3D printed bipod. The uh, files are available for free on Thingiverse. I'll have a link down below to that. So the way it works is you just have your legs that pivot on this main body here, and you have this lock, locking the uh, key right here that you pull down and it pops up and locks in the two positions, either down or folded. So to put it together, you're just gonna need to clean up all your parts, uh, take a spring that fits snugly down inside that groove right there, put your follower in there, make sure that it uh, maxes out near where that uh, hole is at, that way it's still under some compression whenever it is all the way seated up inside the slot. Um, then you can just set it down over the hole and I have a M5 by 20 bolt right here that I've drilled out the uh, hole in the leg to accommodate without it having the threads grip but then the uh, hole that's down inside the body of the bipod I've left a little bit tight so that the threads can grab. So hold that little uh, locking tab down while you're trying to screw this thing in here. This is a little bit tricky, but that's what the goal is, is to line up the holes and screw this thing in. When you first screw it down on there, you just get it snug. It doesn't need to be really tight because you still got to be able to, you know, move it back and forth. There we go. That's pretty good. Maybe you can loosen it up just a fuzz. I get that. That works pretty well. So now to attach it to your rifle. You're going to need a piece of 8 inch uh, pin. Now this is just a TIG welding filler right here. You put this hole, this 10 millimeter hole, over your uh, sling swivel. And then you look down through there, make sure everything's lined up. Look down through the hole right there, make sure this hole's lined up with the hole from your sling swivel. And you can drive this through. If it's not quite lined up, you might have to. Uh, put some electrical tape or something down inside uh, underneath between your forend and this bipod to uh, create a little bit of extra space or sorry like get rid of some of the space that way it'll be tight I made it to where it'd be tight on mine uh, but you might have to do a little bit of work if yours if your swing swivel swivel sticks down a little bit further but either way uh, this thing is uh, pretty solid, it sits on there pretty well. Um, obviously it's still just PLA plus, so it's not gonna be as durable as a metal one, but it's pretty pretty light. Uh, I've made the height of these legs to where it sits just about the right height for me whenever I'm shooting prone. Um, and whenever you have them folded, it's completely flat on the bottom here, so it makes a pretty good rest for if you're shooting off a bench or off of some uh, rocks or something. Also, these legs that stick out, they uh, can be braced off of also. That way, if you're needing to brace off of something that's a little bit further like that, you can be steady and uh, keep all pressure off the barrel. Anyways, give it a try. This is one of the easier ones. Uh, it's a pretty simple print, pretty simple assembly. So uh, let me know how it goes.